Hey, it's Skillbyte here, and I broke down and bought a brake fluid tester from Amazon. I got the iTech brake fluid tester, I think that's how you pronounce it, for dot three and four, because my passenger cars are all dot three, and my Miata's got the dot four high temp in it. And this is quite frankly easier than using the multimeter. You just gotta look at the lights. Let's open it up real quick. That's all there is to it. Couple probes. Start it. Show green for the battery or no water. And then it'll light up as it gets worse. And it auto shuts off. So let's test a few things, see how it works. So in the Miata, I put some uh, Motol, Motol? 600 in a uh, little less than a year ago. So I'm going to push the button, turn it on, shows green, put it in, shows 2%. So, yeah, that's that dot four for you. It doesn't uh, last real long in humid climates. So I know what you're thinking. How accurate is it? Well, got my multimeter out. We're gonna zero it. Point two three. So I'd say it's probably pretty close. If it is point three or higher, that means you need to replace it. By the way. If you uh, haven't seen my video on that, uh, it's up here in the corner. So I bled the clutch and I flushed the brake fluid back about a week ago. Let's see how it tests. Put it down in the fluid. And it's zero. Good. So at least I got fresh stuff in the master cylinder. <laughs> So here's fluid came out of the clutch. That lit up quick. <laughs> so if you're wondering how long your dot three brake fluid will last after opening it, this was opened 621. So it has been, it is 423. So it's been almost two years. Poured a little in the cap. Let's just see what it reads. <laughs> 1%. Now that is dot three. 1%. Wow. Dot three is, will last so much longer than dot four. So thanks for watching. There is a link to this in the description. I do recommend it. It seems to be pretty accurate and easy to use. So please like, subscribe, comment. If this was helpful at all, and good luck with your purchasing decision.